this is a obstetric scan of a gravida two where well, I focused uh, the head of the fetus and uh, what you can see here that no skull bone is formed. You do not see any uh, skull bone formed, only party, partially there is some uh, bright area seen. However, otherwise this is a case of acranium number one. Secondly, you see the lateral ventricles are dilated both this is the lateral ventricle and uh, this is the lateral ventricle. So they are both dilated and this is the uh, choroid plexus and uh, the choroid plexus does not show the dangling sign of my head and uh, so anyways this is a case of uh, bilateral uh, the dilation of lateral ventricles. Now here is the second one. This is the lateral ventricle dilated. This is the lateral ventricle. The, the choroid plexus, lateral ventricle dilated. This is the choroid plexus, and uh, the uh, here it does show the dangling sign. Uh, <coughs> anyway, it's, it's not of importance. Now you see that the uh, ventricles are dilated. All the ventricles are dilated. This is the dilated ventricle. That is, this is the dilation of the ventricles. These are the eyes. So far as facial features are concerned, uh, I did not see any anomaly relating to the Fish, the face of the fetus. This uh, measures 5.2 centimeters, and this distance is 13.9 both are alive. And uh, going further to the study, you see here there is no evidence of a cleft palate, as I am going to show you the nares and the mouth of the fetus. Here we are. This area, if you concentrate, these are the nares, mouth. So no a cleft palate is not seen. Cortical mantle is preserved a bit. You see, this is the cortical mantle. This area is the cortical mantle. Myers approximately 2.3 centimeters uh, from this location and uh, my, the posterior one is a bit decreased in dimension. It measures 19 or say 20 millimeters or 2 centimeters. So the cortical mental is seen. This is the cortical mental, this one with no skull bone. No skull bone seen, a crania. Here you can see the cortical mental is fine. The blood flow. See this uh, answer. Beta Saro, brother. Here we are. Now the velocity in this uh, vessel. Is 27.4 centimeter per second. Other measurements 
Now the resistive index is 0.64 and percentile index is 1.07. These are within normal. So the vasculature of the middle cerebral artery shows us normal normal uh, uh, measurements. Though you ha must have uh, gathered the uh, information regarding the amniotic fluid. Now this is the single largest amniotic fluid, amniotic fluid pocket and it measures 15.5. So there is polyhyremnias. These are the umbilical vessels, uh, umbilical cord. In other words, and they are to our three one wing. Okay. I do not have a very good machine so far as. Uh, Here I've got both the vein as well as the artery and uh, in this case the uh, uh, resistive index is 0.52, pulsatile index is quite low 0.53 and, yeah, and uh, the velocity is 31 centimeter per second that of the artery and uh, it is uh, minus 18 centimeters per second that of the wing. Let's give it, I will give it another try later on. Now this is the body of the fetus. You see that uh, the respiratory movements are seen or, and uh, fetal distress is obvious. But another thing of importance to see is that uh, the dimension of the thorax, the thorax, this is the total thorax and uh, it's mostly occupied by the heart. So this is the liver, this is the gallbladder. So the liver is okay, this is the diaphragm and uh, the, the dimension of the thorax is small as compared to the uh, body of the uh, <coughs> the fetus, here you see this is the gallbladder and this is the uh, liver, this is the transfer section through the uh, abdomen. Let me see if I can get a better view of the umbilical cord, umbilical vessels. Study this one. The uh, again, the resistive index is 0.51 with pulsatile index of 0.76 on the lower side. Let's move ahead with the. Uh, now this is the uh, hand of the fetus. And you will see that uh, only all fingers are not visualized. There are mainly three fingers. 
and that too, these two are joined together, finger number one, two, three, this is the hand. And the other important thing to notice that uh, the uh, ulna radius, they are so small. Now this is the uh, radius, this one, this one, my ear. 2.3 centimeters. This is the humerus, my ears, 3.1 centimeter. So uh, they are small in size. So three fingers are seen, and this is the wrist joint. This is the wrist joint. Okay, let's move further. Jelly is required. Let me paste some jelly. What you would like to see next is that this is the, uh, I mean, where is the stomach bubble and the kidneys, the status of the kidneys. And we have to study that. I am going to trying to do the same. This is the kidney. I got them. If you see that uh, this area is the kidney. Those seen in transfer section here, trying to get the longitudinal section, this is the kidney. Sorry. So the kidney is long. This is the stomach bubble. This is the stomach bubble. So kidney stomach bubble are seen. Now I am going towards the region of the uh, uterus. Cervix. The cervix measures 3.2 centimeter in length and is with the normal. What about the placenta? Now you see the placenta is too small in size, keeping in view that this fetus is only 30, 31 weeks of gestation, 31 weeks gestational age. However, the placenta is being perfused normally. This is the total placenta that is seen in this view, and you can see that uh, it is being perfused well. But the size of the present is only 17.8 centimeter in length and 2.67 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter. Moreover, it's posterior wall, but above the os. Yeah, this is the this is the cervix. And uh, here is the placenta, so it's posterior wall, but above the os. Here it ends. No relation with the os. Not even marginal, I suppose. Let's see. 
No, it's not marginal as the distance between the internal walls and uh, the lower edge of the presenter is 6.4 centimeters. So acceptable, normal, not uh, previous. It's not previous or marginal. Now. Now let's study a little bit. What is the CV? This is the vertebral column, which I am trying to get. Here you see, this is the cephalic end of the vertebral column, lower end of the vertebral column. And as I move downwards, I wish I can get the uh, limbs, especially the lower limbs. Upper we have seen, but let's see. Now this is the foot. This is the foot of the fetus with one, two, three, four, and five fingers. This is okay so far as the foot is concerned. But uh, another interesting thing is that uh, the femur, this is the total length of the femur that I am going to show you now. This one. See that how small the femur is at 31 weeks gestational age. And uh, now, all the bones, long bones of the hand and of the, of the uh, lower leg are small in size. This is the tibia, this is the fibula. So, again, if I show you, this is the femur, this is the uh, tibia and this is the fibula. So short bones, short back bones, the vertebral column is developed well. Here you can see. The vertebral column is developed well. This is the uh, region of this is the caudal end of the vertebral column. This one, there is uh, so this is our case of the day with the acrania, dilation of the lateral ventricles of the brain, polyhydramnial, and uh, short thorax. Uh, small hypoplastic placenta that is uh, posterior or above or short leg and hand bones and uh, uh, three fingers of the hand only airway see and uh, this is a case with multiple uh, pathologies and uh, Poor outcome. But this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.